Well, here we are on episode eight, and I think I finally decided the direction I plan on taking with the series. I briefly mentioned it in episode seven. You guys gave me the thumbs up, so I'm just gonna run with it. I'm sure the title and thumbnail already gave it away, but I wanna make it official. I'm gonna go with in the news. I do wanna clarify that I'm not talking about everything in the news, not all the headlines. I wanna stick with topics that are related to my channel, keto, low carb, weight loss, diabetes, and so on. It seems like every single day there's a new article, some research, or a study that's coming out, and I wanna make sure you don't miss it. And that reminds me. I'm sure I'm not gonna see every single headline or every piece of important information that gets released. So if you see something interesting, something new that has just been announced, make sure you let me know. Put it in the comments, that way I can look into it and maybe add it to future videos. Today's episode will have two segments, and I'm gonna put timestamps down in the description box in case you wanna skip around. Today's topic is something that hits really close to home for me. But if at some point during the first segment, you find yourself thinking, hmm, this does not relate to me or anyone that I love, don't leave. Because in segment two, I bring it all around full circle, meaning that if you watch my videos because you're interested in keto, weight loss, low carb, diabetes, or just health in general, I guarantee this is information you'll wanna be aware of. Now let me get some caffeine in my system and we'll get this show on the road. I hadn't planned on discussing today's topic because for me, it's old news. I had initially heard this announcement back in January, but here's what happens. There was a press release that came out the first week of March, and since then, I have received several emails, DMs, and messages from you guys. And after reading through those, I realized that there was some misinformation. Maybe I should do my part to clear it up. Let's rewind this story all the way back to January where it started. At the Consumer Electronics Show, Dexcom shared their latest product called the Stello. At the time, it was still going through the FDA approval process, but they anticipated it would be available around spring or summer. This announcement was huge in the diabetes community, and that's for several different reasons, which I'll get into in just a second. But first, let's talk about what the Stello is. It's a CGM a continuous glucose monitor. For those of you that may not be familiar with what that is or how they work, I'm gonna explain it really briefly. A continuous glucose monitor is a small device that attaches to the body. It inserts a small sensor that measures the amount of glucose that's in the fluid just below the skin. Then you can monitor those readings through an app on your phone or a smartwatch. It even allows you to send that information to your healthcare provider. In July of 2023, I did a dedicated video on continuous glucose monitors that goes into a lot more detail. So if you wanna watch that, I'll link it up in the cards and down in the description box. If you're new to the world of CGMs, here's two things you may not know. One, they were created for type 1 diabetics. And two, they require a prescription. So what made the Stello such a big deal is it was the complete opposite of that. Now let's fast forward to March, and it was within just the first few days that the press release came out. Multiple news outlets were reporting the story, but I noticed that the headlines were misleading. They read, Dexcom's first ever over-the-counter CGM gets FDA approval. And within days, I started receiving murals, DMs, emails, and comments regarding the Stello. I quickly picked up on a few things after reading these emails. There was an assumption that this particular device was produced for the general public. The other comment I noticed was content creators were already recommending that people go out and pick this up. I'm not gonna take up a ton of your time and read over the entire press release, but I wanna give you a direct quote from Dexcom's chief operating officer. He states, the Stello is the first product we have ever produced that's specifically designed for people with type two diabetes but aren't taking insulin. It's estimated that there's approximately 25 million Americans that fall within that criteria. 
It's true. Estelo doesn't require a prescription from a healthcare provider, and that was one of Dexcom's main goals when producing this device, in hopes that it would be more accessible to those 25 million Americans with type 2 diabetes. And the Stello can be worn for up to 15 days, so only two are needed a month, cutting back on the cost, whereas the Dexcom G6 I currently wear has to be changed out every 10 days. I know from experience just how hard it is to get a hold of one of those because as a type one diabetic, my insurance didn't wanna cover it and I had to fight just to get it approved. My mom, who is a type two diabetic, can't get her doctor to write a prescription for one and her insurance probably wouldn't cover it anyways. The Stello has amazing potential. It could help millions. But let's talk about a problem I foresee taking place. The misinformation about the CGM will spread, and as soon as it's available, the general public is going to rush to get it, creating a supply and demand shortage. Now for the portion of the video where I ask for just a few favors. If you could take a second and just share this video, either on social media or send it to someone you know that's living with type 2 diabetes. By doing this one small thing, you could help clear up some of the confusion going around. Plus, you'd be passing along information about a device that could benefit so many. And one more thing, if you're not a type two diabetic, maybe don't rush out to get this in the very beginning. Let's give it an opportunity to get into the hands of the people that it was created for and the people that are gonna get the most benefit out of it. I hope that there is no issues whatsoever and everybody that wants the new Stello can grab one. Before we go any further, I wanna make it clear that I'm not a doctor, nor am I giving medical advice. You should always consult your healthcare team before making any lifestyle change, no matter what you see on the internet. Now, let's dive on into the second half. I'm 100% real with you guys. I don't pretend to have a perfect life. So it's no secret that the past two and a half years have been a struggle for me. My entire life changed overnight, and along with it, I had to learn how to navigate a new world of type one diabetes. And that's meant a lot of research, reading, and searching for answers. Through all of that, the way I think about keto, low carb, weight loss, insulin, blood sugar spikes, fasting, diabetes, and even continuous glucose monitors, all of that's just started to change and evolve. I should probably do a quick recap in case anybody's new. In 2019, I decided to give keto a shot. My only goal was to lose weight. I wasn't thinking about my health, and back then, I wasn't a type one diabetic. I went into it with a basic understanding of a ketogenic diet. I knew that on any other diet, our bodies burn glucose and carbs as fuel. But with keto, you wanna get into ketosis, become fat adapted, and start burning fat as your fuel source. To get into that metabolic state, the best way to do it is restrict carbs. I decided for me, I would go with 25 net carbs or less a day. To keep everything running smoothly, I was using the Keto Mojo, which is a ketone and blood glucose monitor. It allowed me to check my ketone levels to make sure they were in range and I was in ketosis. Plus, I could do blood glucose tests on any foods I was uncertain about. I wanted to make sure my blood sugar didn't spike because if it does, it can knock you out of ketosis and you're basically starting all over. I kept it that simple and within just a few months, I'd lost over 70 pounds. I had no idea why or how keto had worked so well for me when nothing else ever had. And truthfully, I didn't care. I was just happy it did. So here we are, five years later. Through researching and reading about insulin and how I was gonna control type one diabetes, I stumbled across the piece of the puzzle that just happened to make everything fall into place. I believe it's the secret, the key to losing weight. I discovered that my low carb lifestyle was controlling my blood sugar levels. I was consuming foods that didn't allow me to have a blood sugar spike. That in turn eliminated my body's insulin response. Let me connect the dots for you. When we consume a food or beverage that's high in sugar or carbs, our blood glucose levels start to rise, AKA our blood sugar spikes. To control that, our pancreas releases the hormone insulin. It's a natural process and that's what keeps our blood sugar from going up to 700. 
Now, for the piece of information that I stumbled upon. I had no idea about it, and you probably don't either. It's been scientifically proven. When our body has an insulin response due to a blood sugar spike, it automatically stops your ability to lose fat. But that's not all. Studies also show that insulin causes weight gain. Knowing this explains why keto worked so well for me and all other diets had failed. We have had it pounded into our skull for decades that the best way to lose weight is cut your calories and exercise. But it's just not true because if it did work, there wouldn't be over 70% of the adult U.S. population either overweight or obese. We weren't given the correct tools or information to succeed. So if the solution to losing weight and keeping it off is controlling blood sugar and insulin, then wouldn't it make sense that we need to be monitoring those numbers? We need to know how our body is going to react to foods, drinks, and even activities. We're all different and unique. So what food or beverage may affect one person may not affect another. You've got two choices. You can use a blood glucose monitor where you stick your finger and you put a drop of blood into a machine and it tells you exactly what your blood sugar is. Not only is it more accurate than other devices, but you're getting up to the minute data. But let's be honest, that's not always convenient. I feel like there needs to be a CGM or continuous glucose monitor developed specifically for people without diabetes or on insulin. Not only that, it needs to be affordable and you should be able to get it without a prescription. There's an obesity epidemic and if something as small and simple as a continuous glucose monitor is the answer to all of this, then why is it not out there? There are multiple continuous glucose monitors on the market, like the Freestyle Libre and the Dexcom. But those were made for people with diabetes. So when a person wears that and they're not taking insulin or they're a diabetic, it's not gonna give you accurate results. I know this because I've tested them. I have a child who is hypoglycemic and she has wore multiple of the CGMs designed for people with diabetes, and the numbers that these devices were giving us were nowhere near what a blood stick said. These devices play a crucial role in diabetes management, but just consider all the other lives they could save. So until that day comes, and there's a continuous glucose monitor on the market that you can just walk into any store and pick up, don't forget about those little monitors where you can do a finger blood stick and get accurate results right now. But I do believe there is a better product on the horizon that's gonna help millions shed the pounds and live longer, healthier lives. Okay, folks, that's all I got for this episode of In the News. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for the next episode, let me know. If you need to catch up, I'm going to link the playlist for you guys up in the cards and down in the description box. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you over here as part of my YouTube family. Everybody else, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way, as soon as I upload, you'll be notified. Remember, you've got this. I love you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.